Guys, today we're gonna brew the simplest beer in terms of ingredients, equipment, and process. So let's give it a go. For hardware, the only things I'm gonna be using are this brew pot and a 3 8 stainless steel racking hose with requisite silicon tubing. Ingredients are equally as simple. I've got five pounds of dry malt extract, an ounce of hops, and today we'll be brewing the wheat ale from Jamil Chef's Brewing Classic Style. For miscellaneous supplies, I'll be using star sand for my sanitizer, two liter PET soda bottles, as well as sugar for priming. Collect six gallons of brewing water. I use a keg to collect the first five gallons as I know it's a trusted measuring device. And then I top up with two, two liters to get my six. Bring to boil, but I like to add the dry malt extract before it comes to boil as I find it's a little bit easier. When you reach boil, add your 60 minute hop addition. After your boil is complete, turn off the flame. I like to give mine a good circular stir to make a cone in the center. Then you'll put the top on, your lid, and you'll wait probably between four and 18 hours, depending on the ambient temperature, for your wort to come down to a pitchable temperature. Today I'm gonna to be using Kvek, so I have a pretty wide range. So I'll check back with you when it reaches that temperature. After several hours have passed and you ensure that the wort is at a pitchable temperature, it's now time to add your yeast to the wort and then transfer to the fermentation vessels. So right as about the curve of the bottle starts, so maybe a little bit higher. So yeah, you're 1600 grams, 1 1.6 liters. Here I'm using star sand in a spray bottle to sanitize my two liter PET bottles before the transfer. With your yeast pitched, start a siphon with your stainless steel racking cane, as well as your silicon hose. I do it in a pan as not to make a mess. After you've got the wort transferred, tighten your lid and give them a good shake to aerate them. I like to have my ferments in a water bath for temperature stability. In this case, because I'm doing Kvek, I've got the sous vide to have an elevated temperature. Don't forget to loosen the tops to allow for positive pressure to escape during ferment. Ideally, in a bulk priming situation, we would do the entire batch at the same time because we would have 19 liters or five gallons all together, which means we would take, according to a priming sugar calculator, we would need 86 grams of table sugar to prime 19 liters or five gallons. But you can see here we have 1.6, 1.6, 1 1.6, so we need to individually dose. Ideally, you would boil this for sanitation purposes, but in the effort of the simplest beer ever, we're just gonna add the priming sugar directly to each container, which does come out to about seven grams per 1.6 liters. In order to do that, you can just take a tablespoon, or sorry, a teaspoon, which is four grams of sugar per, so about one and a half, add it individually, or you can use sugar cubes, which weigh out to about three and a half grams per, which is a nice tidy number, two sugar cubes per container. At four and a half percent extract, no chill, using two liter bottles, Kvek, and raw dogging the priming sugar in here, I really don't think you can make a simpler beer 
And in addition, it's actually quite good. 